What's up, Internet? Today, we're featuring the ASUS TUF Z590 Plus Wi-Fi Mobile, which ASUS kindly lent to us. They also lent us the 10th Gen Intel CPU, which we're using to pull the motherboard through its paces. First things first, this is an LG A1200 socket, meaning it's compatible with both the 10th Gen Intel and 11th Gen Intel CPUs. It's a 6 PCB motherboard, meaning it has enough layers to cram the circuitry needed for the PCIe 4 lanes. However, if you want to use PCIe 4, then you're going to need to use the Rocket Lake 11th Gen Intel CPU because the 10th Gen Intel CPUs only support up to PCIe 3. Now, if those specs kind of flew over your head, that's really the problem with motherboard reviews. They can get very technical very fast. So I wanted to highlight two features that even non-techies can appreciate about the TUF Z590+. Plus. The first is the built-in two-way noise cancellation AI technology of ASUS. May nakita akong meme detailing the enemies of mga work from home. So nandun yung tumatahol na aso, yung maingay na electric fan, maingay mong kapitbahay, karaoke. And I'm sure a lot of us can relate. It's been more than a year since the pandemic started and a lot of us are working from home. And who hasn't had that experience? You're in an important presentation. Tapos bigla na lang tatahol yung aso ng kapitbahay mo. Tapos biglang sisingit yung foreign client na, What's that? Can't you give Fido a bone to shut him up? Tapos gusto mo sabihin, e paano mo ipapashot up si Fido, yung pangalan niya YT, tapos wala ka namang buto na mabato sa kanya para tumahimik. So there's a lot of pressure involved with working from home. So a lot of the noises that you encounter working from home are beyond your control. But fortunately, the noise cancellation technology of the Z590 Plus eliminates all of that. To demonstrate, I used the Z590 Plus to stream from the shop. Tapos dadadala ko yung isang maingay na electric fan. Dito sa video, you can clearly hear the electric fan. Pero sa stream, wala kang marinig at all. Am I recording? Yeah. So I'm just recording that, you know, I'm doing the live stream and the audio is what it is. And then we have the fan going full tilt. And then so it's easy to compare later like... This was what was happening in shop, the audio in the shop, and it, but like this is the only one that you can hear. Okie dokes. Because that motherboard is actively filtering out the noise of the fan so that the listeners on the other end don't hear anything anymore. Yung maganda pa dun, it's two-way. So, tahimik dun sa lugar mo, pero may ingay yung kausap mo, the motherboard will also filter out the noise coming from the senders or yung ingay na nagagaling dun sa kausap mo. And it's really amazing because you don't need to do anything. You just plug in any headset, yung ginamit ko nga, hindi Asus yung brand. And the thing just works. I was also super impressed with the AI noise cancellation technology of Asus when I reviewed their Ghost Tricks 2.4 headset. And the experience is very much the same here. It's a no must, no fuss, super simple implementation of a technology that's really quite useful. There are no software settings you need to mess around with. It's literally plug in your headset and you're good to go. Usually those screws come with your motherboard, but you don't really think about them until you need them. No joke, we've had customers come back to us. Yung binili nilang parts, hindi naman M.2, hindi naman motherboard. Pero humihingi lang sila sa amin nung M.2 screws. People want to upgrade to an M.2 drive and they come to the shop and they're like, Oh, I want to upgrade! And we're like, great, bring in your system. They bring in their system, but they can't find their M.2 screws. It's a big problem. So much so na we carry extra M.2 screws and nagpapadala kami ng M.2 screws sa ibang customers namin. But fortunately, the TUF Z590 Plus takes an intelligent approach and rethinks the entire M.2 installation process. So this MOBO has a screwless feature. But the TUF Z590 Plus does away with all of that hassle. It features a simple clasp mechanism. So you slip in the M.2 into the drive and then you close the hinge and that's it. Your M.2 is installed without any screws required. Thanks to the M.2 Q latch, you don't need to worry anymore where you put those effing You don't need to worry anymore where you put those super tiny screws. And that's something I think both techies and non-techies can appreciate. On the topic of M.2s, the board does come with three M.2 slots, but if you're using a 10th gen Intel, then you can only use two of those slots. Moving on to the more technical aspects, the TUF Z590 Plus has 14 power phases in its VRM. 
And VRM or voltage regulator modules are one of the things that the tech guys like to obsess about for motherboards. Basically, a PSU outputs 12 volts, but that's a blistering amount of power for your TPU, which only requires 1.2 volts. So it's a VRMs which lower down the power to an acceptable rate for the CPU. So for general CPU health, as well as good overclocking performance, you need quality VRMs. As usual with most things tech, if you wanna get more information, Linus's crew has a good video on this. So the VRMs of the Tough Z590 Plus output around 700 amps, which is around 100 amps more than its predecessor, the Tough Z490 Plus. Alongside that, they remain really, really cool, even in overclocking situations which is one of the most important things you need to consider when overclocking your CPU. And the VRMs remain so cool because of the quality heat sinks. Actually, the heat sinks used on this model are very similar to the heat sinks used by ASUS, but in their much higher end models. So it's nice that the technology or the design of those super high end MOBOs is trickling down to more mid range components such as the Tough Z590 Plus. So basically at stock speeds, you're getting around 34 degrees for the temperature of the VRMs. From the stock speed of 4.1 gigahertz, we achieved a stable overclock of 4.9 gigahertz, which is around a 20% performance increase. After an hour of that overclock, the temp on the VRM was around 41 degrees, so still very cool considering the big jump in performance we were able to get. So kung tao to, baka makalusot pa to sa screening dun sa mall, makapasok siya. Its temperature is that low. And really, this is very good temperatures for a VRM on overclocking. To make sure this wasn't just an aberration or mistake on my end, I also researched around the internet for other reviews. And all of them were pretty uniform in saying that the VRM cooling of the Tough Z590 Plus is excellent. Therefore, making it an excellent choice if you're planning to overclock your CPU. Finally, on a minor note, on an aesthetic level, I really like how the heat sinks of the VRMs bracket the CPU block of the AIO. So it's sort of like they form a little frame and you know, you're better able to appreciate the AIO CPU block. And the heat sinks themselves, you know, look good. They look kind of edgy. They, they're both functional and good looking. I mean, they look kind of sinister. So, maganda siya sa build. And so, they look good. They perform good. There's really not much to complain about here. The Tough Z590 Plus also supports RAM speeds up to 5133 MHz and comes with two ARGB headers and two RGB headers. That last point might seem like a minor thing, but if you watch my other reviews, you know na sobrang OC ako how many RGB headers ba talaga yung MOBO. And I super appreciate when the MOBO comes with both the 3-pin ARGB header and the 4-pin RGB header. Kasi sa totoo lang, sobrang sakit sa ulo yung RGB na yan. And having both of them on one motherboard really makes it a lot more versatile. Let's say when you got the computer, you only thought, well, I, you know, I only want RGB. But then later on, you want to upgrade, wala ka na mahanap na magandang RGB, or you want to try the more advanced ARGB. So there's so many options that come into play for RGB. It's always better if your MOBO has both or supports both the ARGB and the RGB. It will save you a lot of headaches later on. If you've watched some of our other videos also, you know that I'm old-fashioned and I don't like using Wi-Fi for my main rig. Whenever possible, I always still use the wired LAN Ethernet connection. But with the Tough Z590 Plus, I can have it both ways. It does feature a 2.5 Gbps Ethernet port as well as built-in Wi-Fi 6. So if you want to use Wi-Fi, there's the option for that. If you want to use the wired connection, there's also the option for that. Again, just adding to the versatility of the board. To sum up, the Tough Z590 Plus is an impressive board which incorporates many of the technologies that ASUS has in its higher-end MOBOs. For example, the heat sinks on the VRMs, the AI noise cancelling technology, and the Z590 Plus also contributes its own ideas with a very impressive, simple to use, but a lifesaver, M.2 Q Latch. If you want further details about the motherboard, I do encourage you to check out this video by Laurent. It's one of the few motherboard review videos na hindi ako inan talk watching, to be honest. Because it's very technical, but this review has both the technical aspects and it's presented in a way that's easy to follow. The SRP of the Tough Z590 Plus Wi-Fi is around 13,000, which puts it slightly in the premium territory. But considering all of its bells and whistles and its quality components, you can really see that you're getting your value for money. 
thanks for watching. And all the thanks in the world to our top fans, Christian Espinosa, John Ruben Ocha, ITX Addict, Richard Onkinko, Ian Meru, and Liam Magnaye. Your support really goes a long way to helping upgrade the production quality of the channel, and we really, really appreciate it. Thanks so much.